ukuthi ubalulekile kunazo zonke abomini bakho ubuhlelwane no Christ it will take you one day Ngenye imini ibuza kuthatha It will come to rescue you Ubuza kukuhlangula ngenye imini from eternal death that relationship with him will come one day and help you from eternal death that relationship with God hallelujah number two the, the now faith is the faith that is able to anchor you. This is how you will identify it in your life. This faith is able to anchor you. Mostly when you are alone. When circumstances get ugly what happens to you you pick up a phone to phone another christian to phone your pastor what comes first in you the now faith will anchor you it will anchor you this is my now faith. And I'm coming across circumstances. When it hits, faith, I mean in now faith, And I'm facing my circumstances. The first thing I feel in me it's the anchor. No color ramalun can see Not even I feel the anchor. Dia, if you don't miss Let me help you. But you We were born eight in my mother's house. Sasi by eight, ke kumama wam. Six sisters and two boys. O tatebe taba six na bafana babi. From the same mother and the same father. Kumama omnye no tata omnye. And I'm the sixth. I had two younger sisters. From 2010, from 2010 to 2013, 2013, all seven died. I saw them going down into their grave. My elder sisters, my, my elder brothers, and my two younger sisters, they were both principals in their schools. They died. And all of a sudden, I was left alone. I remember I sat in a bath in, the, in my bathroom. And I said to, to the Lord, Where are these seven of my siblings? Why am I left alone? And something said in me, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And it was interpreted in this way. You had those siblings. But they left you. I'm saying I will never leave you. You must have the now faith that will speak within you. When things get ugly, let your faith stand up with you. Because faith speaks. It's necessary for each and every Christian now. Because you need that faith. Because you don't know when you will die. You don't know what is coming your way. You don't know the bad things that 
are going to happen in your life. You don't know the difficult moments that will come your way. So you need that faith, the now faith within you. So that it can stand with you. Without which, if you don't have that, for that now faith, you will die and perish. You need the now faith. We are going to where we are going now. Number three. This now faith is the faith that will accompany you wherever you go. It's not the Sunday faith. I always say, if Christ shall come back, let him come back on Sunday. Yeah, you know why. Because at least on Sunday, we are better off. If he comes back on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, ah. But the now faith is the one that will accompany you wherever you go. Be it in the fires of life be it in deep waters of life be it in dark valleys of life be it in steep slippery roads be it in insurmountable mountains wherever you will be this now faith should be able to accompany you. Something cropped up in my, in my spirit when I was preparing this. It says the now faith does not depend on your feelings. You can't detect it in your feelings. I see people who shiver or something or go shish. The now faith doesn't come to your feelings. That's why you can you, you will experience it. Even, even if when you are dead. When you are dead, you have no feelings. But the faith will work for you even if you are dead. It's not in the feelings. It's not in the feelings. The now faith depends on the power of God, number one. It depends on the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. And depends on the manifestation of the word of God. Only those three areas. Only those three areas. You can't get it from your feelings. I, you can try it the way you want. I, I, I hear people say, say to me, I want to touch you. I want to get the anointing from you. I want to get the anointing from you. And you get the anointing. Is it that all simple? The anointing is not on me. The anointing is in me. 
So how will you touch my image? This is the now faith. Let's go to these two scripture verses that I love the most. Matthew chapter 9. And we are taking the fourfold of the word of God, isn't it? Matthew chapter 9. I would love it to be, to be read in Kosa and, and, and English. Verses 20 to 22. And we go to Luke chapter 8. Verse 43 to 48. Matthew chapter 9. Matthew chapter 9. 20 to 22. Verse 20 to 22. And Luke chapter 8. Luke chapter 8. Verse 43 to 48. Verse 43 to 48. Let's read. Masifunde. The fourfold power of the word of God. Obune ba mantla beli zulika tiko. I love that. What did she do? She kept saying to herself. Read on. If I only Let's go to Luke. Listen carefully to what how Luke puts this story. Luke chapter 8, verse 43 to 48. And listen very, very carefully. Yeah. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 This is a sick woman. She has been sick for 12 years. 
when they, they uh, do we have medical people here, nurses and doctors, and do we have them among us? This woman, has, this woman has been bleeding for 12 years. If you bleed for one week, you become pain. And the, and the doctors will say you are you are you are anemic and they would like to put more blood into you and you are very very weak you will be walking like this against the walls if you bleed for one week this woman has been bleeding for 12 Yes. I visualize her in my in my mind. She was pain, pain. She was weak. Can you see her? And Matthew says, she said to herself, weak as she was, she said to herself, if only I can touch the hem of his garment, I shall be him. To my mind, Christ was almost at that corner. And she was here. And there were multitudes of people between her and Christ. Who was she talking to? I also thought she was talking to herself. Because the Bible says she said to herself. In fact, in fact, her faith was talking to her. You have faith. It's able to talk to you. More especially when you are in difficulties. You are now faith will talk to you. When you have faith talks, the contentment comes from your mouth. But it's your faith that is talking. Your mouth gives the utterance. Number one, faith talks. Number two, she said, What if I can only touch the hem of his coming? Who told her that the power doesn't lie on the shoulders of Jesus? Who told her that the power of healing is not on the body of Christ? Who told her that the power is hidden at the hem? of his garment. Have faith revealed that the power of Jesus is not on his body but it's hidden at the hem of his garment. of Jesus was hidden at the hem of his garment. In the same way that the power of Samson was hidden in his hair. What the Lord has preserved to be known by us 
shall be revealed by the faith in you. Number two, faith reveals. Your faith will reveal. You don't need your pastor. You don't need a fellow Christian. You are own faith will reveal the things of God in your life. This is a very, very weak woman. The faith spoke to her. The faith revealed to her. Now it remained for her to reach the heavens. But there are throngs of people in between. And then she went. Ask his sorry. Ask his sorry. Ask his sorry. Ask his sorry. But this is a weak woman. The faith in her gave strength in her body. Look how strong she is. She has been weak and sick for two years. years. But her own faith resurrected the, the strength in her body. The Bible tells us about men in the Bible. Women were not counted. So these throngs of people were men. Just take three or four of them and put them here. I can't make my way through them. Strong, strong as I am, I'm not sick. But now it's a, it's a sick woman. But the strength came back. The strength came back. Ask his soul. Ask his soul. The faith in you will give you the ability to maneuver your way. It doesn't matter what comes here. The faith in you. Look, It doesn't need any person. The faith in you. Look, You'll maneuver. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The fourth thing. Ayesine. As he was maneuvering. Faith guided her. In her maneuvering, she didn't lose the position. She was going straight to Jesus. Your faith will give you the direction. Don't worry, you'll never get lost. Faith will give you the direction, the right direction. You are going straight to where Jesus is. Praise be unto the name of the Jesus. Lord. Number five. As she was going through the direction of the of her faith, I believe. My spirit. She was not standing on her feet. Because her faith had told her that the power is at the hand. Obviously. She was going like this. 
Why are they coming like at the lowest level? As a masant, at the lowest level, as a masant, being directed to the hem of his garment. No proud Christians will reach where Christ is. I'm a call like I had a project. I was a man who yes, as Papa Missileo. Come down, go down, come down, yes, come down, yes, come down, yes. Why our former fathers and mothers used to kneel down before God. They would kneel before God because they knew God is found on their knees. And lastly, she sensed the position of Christ. Why you find our case to Akuyo? Your faith will sense the proximity of Christ in your life. Your faith will keep you the proximity of Christ in your life. When she arrived there, amongst all the garments that were there, she could recognize without seeing him but she recognized that this in this hand she doesn't see him but she recognizes this hand he has got the power to heal me you don't to see him with your naked eyes. But your faith will detect that now the proximity is very, very near. You are just there. But without your now faith, you will go and touch people's garments. They Different say, men. Touch, touch, touch my garment. No. No. Let the faith in you direct you to the relevant garment at the relevant place. You are now faith. We are in order to be able to maneuver your way to so where God is. Listen to what Luke says. He says when she arrived. Because your faith will also give you obedience. You do exactly what the, the Lord is saying. If you find yourself doing nasty things, you are not at the track of God. The faith in God gives you obedience. So she arrived. And she touched. She touched the hem of his garment. She doesn't know who the garment was, the, the, the owner of the garment look, looked like. But she touched the hem. And Luke says, Utuluka. immediately. She touched the hem. The flow of blood in her body. 
Isn't it he just said, I, I felt the power coming out? I got chongo, but to the woman, she said, woman? Kodwa kumama uti mama. It's not my power. I go madawam. But you have faith. What you call all work. He said, it doesn't even say my garment. I got here in kuboyam. He doesn't even say the hem of my garment. I got you in kubelo we kuboyam. He says, woman. Uti mama. Your faith has healed you. This is where I got the revelation. You don't need anything in your life. We just need God to resuscitate the faith in you. When you come across whatever in life, the faith in you shall heal you. The faith in you shall fight for you. The faith in you shall fight Fight for your kids. The faith in you shall give you the power to overcome. The faith in you is not the faith of a pastor. I not call on It's not the faith in any other person. I not But the faith in you shall speak to you. Shall reveal things. And at the end of everything, it is the faith in you that will give you the power to be resurrected. The power from God it will be hovering upon the graves and you will be lying in your graves. But the faith in you that's why the Bible says all those who will die in faith those who will die in Christ there's a song in Tonga it says it says it says it says it says he should be It is the power of your faith oh, that, you, that will fight for you. Even when your body is rotten, even when your flesh is rotten, after the whole of you has been eaten up by worms, the power of your faith will give you the ability to be resurrected. The power of your own faith will give you the power to be resurrected. Let's stand on our feet. I want everybody to cry out to God. Oh. And you say to God, Jehovah, don't leave me behind. Resurrect the faith in me. Because I want your power to resurrect me. Whether dead or alive. Let's all pray. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord.
the Holy Spirit is saying to me this is the time for the Holy Ghost. You can stand up and pray. Here is the church. 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 Oh my God, oh my God. Yes, honey. Oh, my God, oh my God. Yes, honey. Oh, 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 my God.
Kula mai Inili maya Kuna naliba kasi nene Inili maya Kumla mawamla Kumla mawamila Uteta nani Yes Lord Thank you Sia bonga bonga Ili mama ya inda Uli mama ya Ini lima bonda, kita salam eli, salam eli kasa, kita salam eli, kita ni, kita ni, kita ni, thank you Holy Ghost, sabonga mo ingwe, bokoshi. Simlona, shinte, Alabashika, yete si alabaka, iati asika, imoko shi eleta, iti tita, eteli la sike, ipaya kasieta, ritati ate, iti ele, ikikasia, eteli la tieta, ataya yatiko, ipaki atela, itaye yetieta, ariatia, oko shakapa, atalia tata. Yeah. <laughs> 